Sa pinagpalat, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. This week, we will end the liturgical year. And we will start another liturgical year by Sunday with the Advent season. As we end the liturgical year, our weekday first readings will be taken just as just last week from the last book of the New Testament, the book of Revelation, which is meant to assure us that in the midst of crisis and in the face of insuperable evil, we are called to trust in Jesus' promise. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Those who remain steadfast in their faith and confidence in the risen Lord need have no fear when, for they will triumph at the end. There will be a new creation, a new heaven and earth. God will reward each according to his deeds. And so it is a message of hope and assurance of victory for those who are faithful to the Lord. The book of Revelation is concerned about life's fundamental issues of victory and defeat, success and failure. The victory and defeat it treats is about our daily struggle between good and evil. We have to make the choice. We have to know how to choose well. We have to decide for the good. And in these fundamental issues, the book of Revelation reflects the paradox of the Gospels. Ano po yung paradox? It's a seeming contradiction, kabalintunaan, and yet there is a truth in it. By any worldly standards, the woman mentioned in the Gospel would not be considered a success. She was nothing more than a destitute or a poor widow. And yet, she made a success of her life because by God's grace, she achieved victory over pride and selfishness. Her goodness manifested in her generosity, won praise from Jesus himself. The 144,000 people in today's reading are not a mathematical count, but symbolic of all those who have shared in the victory of the Lamb of God. That is Jesus. It's a victory that we celebrate every time we participate in Mass. Through the Mass, we receive the grace to overcome pride and selfishness. Through the Holy Mass, we have the means to make a success of our lives. Through the Mass, we can become people who, because of our goodness and generosity, the Lord assures us the joy of being with Him forever. A note, a last note, as we celebrate, you know, one of our good benefactors was late, the late Captain Greg Oka. And so today we celebrate his 12th death anniversary. As I mentioned, his 96th birthday on November 28th. We pray 
that the Lord will bless him all the more as he bless him in this life. We entrust him to God's mercy and love. We have a saying, great people do not die. Captain Greg will always be remembered for his charity and care for others. Good people do not die, but they pass on from this life to a blessed life without end. To be with him, to be with God, who is the source of all that is good, holy, and beautiful. Amen.